Tonight we bring you the story of how David Beckham became a global phenomenon. David Beckham, unstoppable. I never really did well at school because all I ever wanted to do was play football. My manager kept saying, try and keep it under wraps. So we would meet in car parks, and that's not as seedy as it sounds. Classy. I suppose that most blokes have looked at the television so they're like, uh, don't fucking end up with them. Come here, baby. My life had become something different. We were worried that he'd lose all what he'd worked for, because football come first, and all of a sudden it wasn't. OK, David. Big smile. It definitely didn't change me. We well, changed. There's no doubt about that. David. Oh, David. 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 It's a red card for David Beckham. I don't think I've ever talked about it just because I can't. I wasn't eating. I wasn't sleeping. It took a toll on me that I never even knew myself. Ferguson admitted he had kicked the boot, accidentally striking Beckham. And then I've gone like that. And then I've gone like that. You went at him? Yeah. It's really entertaining when the circus comes to town, right? Unless you're in it. It's all right, Buster. They can't get in the car. We were drowned. But he just kept going. I don't give up easy. It's Beckham. He's done it now. I don't give up. I felt very vulnerable and alone. Honest. Who are you gonna kick it like? If I told him how good he was, then he's got nothing to work at. I remember saying to Bex, thank fuck you on our team. What do you do afterwards? Sink or swim? There was something inside him, that determination. You haven't seen nothing yet. There's more to come. Maybe.